friends from Snake Discovery, a reptile experience up in the Twin Cities. Join us once again. This is Ed and Emily Roberts. They're the owners. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Who do we have with you here today? We now have, uh, this is Maurice. He is a boa constrictor. He's about five years old and around uh, five feet long, I'd say. He has a bit of growing still to do. Yep. And over here is, th this is a blue tongue skink. And oh, the word skink means, blue tongue. yes, you, you can definitely see how she gets the name blue tongue skink. Mm -hmm. And the word skink means smooth lizard with short legs, which is also yes. pretty accurate, I sure. would say. Her name is Oprah Skink Free, <laughs> of course, yes. <laughs> Of course, of course. How did Maurice get his name? You know, we just needed a, a fun name that, that, you know, you don't use that often. So sure. I don't know exactly, probably one of our staff members yeah. came up with that one. But we like using human names for potentially big, scary snakes because yeah. it makes them a little bit more approachable to kids. So we have Carl, Doug, the boa. <laughs> we have Maurice. Uh, we have a few of them to encourage kids to get over that yes. fear and to touch them. So what does Maurice eat? Maurice is currently on large rats or small rabbits. Okay. Uh, they don't eat every day, though. He eats about once a month, give oh, or take. intermittent fasting. Yes, <laughs> okay. exactly. He wants to watch his weight yeah, for sure. Got to keep his figure. That's right. <laughs> Oprah here though is a big pig. She'll eat about every day if we if we let her. They'll eat all sorts of things. They are omnivores. Blue tongue skinks are. So they'll eat um, flowers. They'll eat snails. They they love to eat eggs. But with those short little legs, you can't imagine they can run very fast. Right. And they, they don't run very fast, so they eat whatever they happen to be able to catch. Now, do these two get along? Uh, these two are I'd say they're pretty indifferent to one another. Yeah. They're not natural predator or prey species right. to each other, but we are keeping them at a safe distance just to be safe. They sure. are technically still wild animals. Right, and you mentioned some people think snakes are a little bit scary. How is he so well behaved right here? You know, they're not as scary or as mean as the movies make them seem. They're always <laughs> the bad guy in movies, but snakes are awesome. They are wonderful animals, and the more you hold them, the more desensitized to human touch they get, and the more handleable they get as a result. Sure, so Ed, Emily, how did the two of you get so interested in reptiles? Well, that's a great question. Oh, that is a good question. Ooh, <laughs> we met at a pet store that I was working yes. at. Okay. Over birds yep. of all things. Like blue and gold macaws and the big ones. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, she Did was... you get a bird? Yes. Actually, <laughs> yes. And I had one too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we were into birds at first, and then we soon realized that reptiles, you know, they don't have to eat every day. They're nope. very easygoing. They don't chew on your furniture or squawk or sure. poop, poop every 15 yeah. minutes. They're quiet. They are quiet <laughs> compared to parrots, so we kind of switched over to the, the dark side of reptiles. So where do we find skinks? We actually have a couple native species in Minnesota. Okay. Our skinks that get this big? Not no. this yeah. big. Ours are very small. We have the six-lined race runner and the five-lined skink. They get about yay long. Okay. Very quick, hard to catch. Blue tongue skinks are native to Australia. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, boa constrictors are native to South America. Sure. Actually. Sure. Yeah. How big does Maurice get? Is this how big he'll get? He has a little bit of growing still to do. Okay. Uh, like I said, I would say I don't know. What do you think? Five feet? But get Something it away. like that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think five feet is accurate. <laughs> they grow to around seven to eight feet for males. Oh, to hold <laughs> eight to nine yes. feet for females. Colton, if you want, you can just wrap them around oh. your shoulders or hold them up in front of you with your. So you eyes. haven't done this before. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, Wait. you can just Keep set them on your grip. shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> this is way different than Here. the other snake. Ed, <laughs> it's a bit different. Ed, yes, help, please. <laughs> Do you want to pet Oprah Skin Free? I can pet. Oprah. She's very I keep my eye on Maurice. There you go. Like I can do lizards. <laughs> Perfect. These are essentially. But Valencia is holding Oprah skin through. Okay. Three. Do you want to try holding her? Try Yourself? It. No. No? Or mm -hmm. you should you, you I, touch her? Good. Sure, Cammy. Hi, Salentia, this is you. This <laughs> is you. Sure this is our new producer, by the way, Salentia. <laughs> hey. And she's hey. holding the skin. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah, very good. Sorry. Blue tongue skink. Look at the blue tongue. Oh. Yeah, their tongue is really cool because it reflects UV light. So if a bird is swooping by them in the wild in Australia, they'll stick their tongue out at the bird to kind of temporarily blind it, like shining a mirror in really? your eyes. Yeah, and it deters the bird from flying any closer. Oh, okay. It's really cool. So and those big cool. holes on the side of her head are her ears. Those the are ears, so she can hear us. She sure can. Yeah, snakes have ears too, but they're hidden underneath their scaly skin. So we think the world to a snake just sounds muffled compared right, to Right, I was wondering if we get too noisy in here, does it bother them? No, nah, they're used to, I mean, they do a lot of fourth grader programs because we bring them to schools and do fourth grader birthday parties. So they're used to loud noises, sure. but they don't mind either All right, way. How are you doing up there? Good. Do you want to you wanna pet them? No, him? I don't. You guys got it covered. You do. I've, I've been sitting here closely. This is the closest I need to be. We appreciate your bravery. How is this more therapeutic? Therapeutic or um, more therapeutic? It's a little more stressful because he keeps getting around, you know? Yeah, what if The other guy just like to... The other guy just like to chill. He does move around. He kind of hits all those pressure points around your shoulders, though. It's almost like a massage. And that's a he. 
He is a boy, yes. Maurice. And mm-hmm. this one? Ooh. And she, ah, she's you a, know, we assume she's a girl, but there isn't a way to tell visually with blue tongue skinks. Oh, that yeah. is interesting. Yeah. Typically with snakes, males have longer, thicker tails, and females have shorter, wider tails. Oh. And females usually get bigger than males, too, because we're awesome, of course. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So again, for our viewers at home, maybe some that have just joined us, where can they find you? We are in Maplewood. We are a reptile store, a reptile zoo, and a party experience. We do reptile birthday parties. Oh, that's fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> and how many different reptiles do you have? We have about 75 exhibits in our zoo, I would say, give or take, uh, most of which are more rarer species than what you'd see in a pet store. It's our goal to have the unusual species on display to learn about and see up close. We do have a couple venomous species in our zoo as well. Obviously, those we don't touch, but there's plenty of other touching opportunities with the safe species in the zoo. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here, and thanks for bringing your friends. Yeah, thanks for having us. You guys are good? You having good. a good time? Good. Yes. Good. Great. Can, can they great. put the big boa around their neck at the snake experience? If you book a private party, absolutely. Okay. Everybody in the party gets a chance to hold the boa around their shoulders. Okay. More details on our website. That's ktdc.com. Thanks to all of you for joining us. <laughs> Very much appreciated. Thanks for touching them. <laughs> yes, I did do that. I did do that. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back.